Hello. Are you hardcore? For April, and I'm being hunted. This is my second run, and episode number two, and I'm pretty sure he's after me. Come on. No, he's not. He's not moving yet. That's good. Right. Now, I've been set a task, and I think I want to go backwards towards the crazy man. Um, because... Yes, I thought I saw uh, in my video after the last episode I spotted a ruined portal up on the hillside. Oh no, it's getting dark, isn't it? Yes, and um, obsidian might well come in handy. If there is any, I can't get any from, yeah, <laughs> one, <laughs> here, have that, um, golden carrots, yeah, why not, golden, can't you, can't wear it, bane of arthropods, I'm not going to the nether, right, okay, um, what about sleeping up here? Okay. Now, is he on the move yet? No, he's not. Okay. Um, right. Well, back to this episode. It's a randomizer edition, and in every episode you're set a task to perform. <laughs> and the task this time is to enchant an item. Hello, guys. But I don't think these villages are very good for providing obsidian. I've got a book. I picked up a book. And... Hmm. Yeah, nothing else of any use. I need diamonds. How would I get diamonds? While well, running around the landscape. Um... And when is that guy going to start moving after me? He's... Yes, I know a bit more about it now. Ed posted a couple of um, pointers to say that the hunter... He, he runs after you at speed when he's over 200 away from you, which is <laughs> he's miles beyond that at the moment. Um... And he won't stop running at speed until until he reach until he catches you, which is which explains my my first run where I died. Um, I used the panic button to teleport away from him, and yet he carried on coming. Hello, I'm just I just want to go through here just because it feels nice. Um, right, what am I doing? I'm, I'm running. I don't know why. I suppose it's a thing. I don't know why I'm playing something where I'm being relentlessly hunted, because if I have a phobia about anything, <laughs> it's, it's being relentlessly hunted. Um, just gives me the eebie-jeebies. Um, I, I didn't play the base race that this is based on, <laughs> inspired by. I played the first episode, I believe, the, the one where you were, you were being constantly hunted by a skeleton with a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'm doing now is doing me no good at all. You know, just putting distance between... Ah, ah, oh my goodness me. Um, have you ever seen as dangerous a location for 
<laughs> a temple. How's that? But, in for a penny, in for a pound. Ah, no, they're in here. Ah, ow. Ah, I think I'm, um... Yeah, let's... Let's not. <laughs> right. But, that general concept of a, um, a temple. Ah, oh, it's a good idea because if we, if we look in, in them, we can probably get diamonds. Probably? Maybe. Let's call it maybe to get diamonds. Oh, is that really the only the only one that's going to be around these parts is the one right next to the... <laughs> what a chicken I am! But I don't think I can survive attacked by by pillagers who are actually wait, lying in wait inside the desert temple for me. That's an evil manoeuvre. Oh, he's on his way towards me now. So, so what do I do? He's going to catch up. And how do I... How do I stop him killing me? I don't know. I guess the thing is, once he catches me, he can't go fast. He's just like an ordinary skeleton. So, see, he's, he's, he's going to be here. Well, the sun's in the middle of the sky. So, if I stand my ground and wait for him until he's caught me, and then try to outrun him, perhaps that's the thing to do. Look at him, he's, he's coming like a train. Hey, who's making noises near me? <laughs> so, that would be just the uh, ironic timing, wouldn't it? would be to... Um... <laughs> yeah, he'll never, he'll never see me behind here. Yes, I would, the the ironic timing would be if I'm waiting for him and and then suddenly I get exploded by a creeper. Come on then. Now he's still coming at speed, you see. This is the thing. And he will come at speed until he finds me. And then once he finds me, he can only go to... Ow! No! Okay. So now I should be able to outrun him. <laughs> I hadn't taken stock of the the landscape. Right. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to catch me this time if I go off in a boat. Not like when he was going at speed. Okay. So, valuable lesson learned, or, or am I fooling myself? I don't know. And also, right, the randomizer part of the whole <laughs> exercise, the 
the fact that I'm given tasks to perform. Now where is he? He's still coming towards me. He's under the water, I think, and and he's not moving slowly. Ooh, look at those bees. Yeah. Oh, you're going to get yourself horribly trapped. Hi, bee. Oh, thumped into a bee. That's not something that every ship's captain ever has to say. Right. Yes, going back to the randomizer elements. <laughs> you set a task, and yet I can't concentrate on any of those. A, because they, they seem to be things that are quite hard to achieve in 20 minutes anyway. But B, because I'm being pursued by a relentless murderer. Murdering Elton John look-alike. <laughs> so, how far away is he? He's, he's still coming in quite fast. He, he I'm not not really pulling away from him even even in the boat that's weird I mean he certainly caught me so he must be on cooldown now ah he's not moving <clears throat> he has lost me that's it that's the good thing are we actually dark? Yeah, kind of. Close to dark. Let's not live through a night time. I think trying to... <sighs> yeah. The high, whole idea of being able to get some diamonds... Yeah, and the rest of the obsidian that I need to be at, and lapis, um, is just a non-starter, isn't it? So, perhaps I can just consider, what am I seeing over there? Oh! <laughs> dark, dark forest, and... And an icy, wow, an icy ocean. Wow. Impressive pinnacles of ice and packed, packed ice and snow and, yeah, yeah. Anyway, back to that. Probably my best chance of getting diamonds was... That um, that desert temple, and yet, um, yes, it it was it was an ambush. I mean, I could go underground, but I mean, really, we're we're only a few minutes from yeah, okay. So, the other thing is, how long did he wait before he started running after me? It was a considerably long time, wasn't it? If I try to remember at what point he caught me um, in the first episode, and then at what point I realised he was coming after me in this, in this episode, it felt, oh, I'm being attacked by a guy with a trident, I think. <laughs> Better keep moving. He missed it. Luckily for me, he was a bad shot. Can I see him out there somewhere? No. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just running, running, running. 
So maybe at the end of this episode, I'll get um, a task which is something more in line with what I can achieve in in 20 minutes. Uh, especially considering how well prepared or not I am. See, I'm, I'm wearing some leather boots, so I could do with going caving and getting myself some iron. Once I'm convinced that he's not moving, and he's not, so he's nearly a thousand away, I mean, there's no real reason for me to continue running. Oh... Should I do things like collecting pumpkins just in case I get asked? Hmm, <laughs> yeah. In case you get a task. Perhaps I want to go down there. Whoa. Who? Who said... <laughs> Definitely seem to be one or two people saying... <laughs> okay, let's grab this. Try not to tempt anyone. surface again. Okay. Um. Oh. oh. Just feel like I have to be completely silent so as not to encourage the mobs to come and get me. Okay, this is good. Ah. <laughs> oh, that was my last... When you reach your last thing of me... But okay, I've I've managed to pick up a bit of a valuable iron. Okay, what did I get? Fourteen iron. That could make me. Oh, it was one short. <laughs> I was going to say it can make me a chest plate and pants, but I need one more. Um. All right. Now, just another check. He is not moving. Right, good. And I don't expect him to move at the moment. Let's... Do a quick cook-up. Um, we're not at sunset yet. All right, yeah. Um, being pursued relentlessly does terrible things to my state of mind. I feel as though all I've got to do is run, 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 run. <laughs> In fact, there seems to be so many of Ed's challenges that just make me think that all I can do is run. Um, even the even the innocuous ones of like the overgrowth and uh, what was the other one? The hardening, um, having. The landscape changing around me. Ooh, 40 minutes elapsed. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next time. Bye.